everybody, I'm Aaron Norris. It's Friday, August 28th. Have you thought about putting solar on your home? You're gonna wanna stay tuned as we cover the biggest headlines in real estate for this week. New home sales in the U.S. saw their biggest increase this year of 5.4% in July. The California Association of Realtors reported a 17% increase in pending home sales year over year and now at their highest in six years. But much of that was in Northern California, thanks San Francisco. SoCal was relatively flat. Non-distressed sales are also the highest since 2007. Now 93% of all homes sold in California are not distressed. Fannie Mae is totally bumming me out with their meager 2.1% growth rate expectation for 2015. Whatever. The first quarter was more exciting than expected, followed by a less exciting second quarter, and well, now we're headed into third quarter and the strong dollar with, and the China stock market blip and a frothy summer. Yes, that's a thing. Uh, as the Fed's uh, saying, maybe it's not going to expect huge gains for GDP this year. Expect to hear much more from Doug Duncan as he joins our panel for I Survive Real Estate, which is almost sold out, so go get your tickets. How has your stock portfolio performed this week? Many are beginning to wonder how the Fed will react and if interest rates are indeed going to go up this fall and if it's a good idea. The Dow Jones took a huge drop in the beginning of the week and rebounded Wednesday and Thursday. Interest rates have hovered around zero for seven years. When will they go up? No one knows but are nervous to actually find out. Forget about that and let's talk about something good. The Mortgage Bankers Association expects housing demand to increase between 13.9 and 15.9 million new household formations by the year 2024. The Latino community, baby boomers, and millennials are all expected to contribute to that jump. Didn't want to be completely bumming out this weekend. Tesla is best known for electric cars, but few know that its founder Elon Musk is also the chair of SolarCity, the largest provider of solar backed by Google, and also the creator of Powerwall. Powerwall is a battery storage for the home. Solar works great during those sunny California days, but not so much at night or cloudy days. Tesla is taking that issue head on. The home battery will charge via solar, and then when energy rates are low, allowing homes to operate largely off the grid. Perhaps it will even charge that Tesla in your garage at night. Costs for the solar wall start at 3000 for a 7 megawatt system and could revolutionize not just the energy industry, but the real estate industry. Google's project Sunroof is already starting to calculate usable sun time by address. Uh, there's a website set up for that. We'll link to it in uh, if you're on our blog. This is California, my friends, so we should expect to see a lot more on this, not in five years, but actually now. But something to keep in mind, utilities have fixed charges with employees and infrastructure. If you're going to be off the grid, that's one thing, but if you have to be plugged in for any reason, expect for utility companies to come up with a new fixed charge for even being plugged into the grid. So you may be paying less for variable energy, but you're going to be paying more just to be plugged in. So there'll be a fixed rate. That's it for the headlines this week. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if we've missed anything, leave in the comments below some of your favorite stories for the week. You can catch many more headlines on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Up on the radio show this week, we've got M. Lance Coyle from the Appraisal Institute. He's the chair this year. They're not going to be on the panel of I Survive Real Estate, but they come back once a year to talk to us about things going on in the appraisal industry. October 1st, the 2015 Inland Southern California Economic Forecast Conference. Bruce is going to be moderating the two CEOs of Riverside and San Bernardino counties. Uh, during one of the sessions. Uh, it's going to be here in Riverside at UCR. October 16th, I Survive Real Estate. If there are a few tickets less, if you left, if you're not hooked up with a sponsor that already has a table, you're going to want to sign up soon. iSurviveRealEstate.com. Check out all of our awesome sponsors and to find out more about how to get involved and get tickets. October 27th through the 29th, it's our last boot camp for the year. Check out thenorrisgroup.com for information on that. Uh, for more information on hard money loans, including our fix and flip, uh, buy and hold, and new construction funds, check out uh, thenorrisgroup.com or if you want to find out how to uh, passively invest with the Norris Group with First Trust Deeds, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. With that, have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week.